lactic acid and chloroacetic acid by conduct mentoring see here is a protocol of the experiment aim of the experiment is to determine the relative strength of acetic acid and monochloroacetic acid by conduct mentoring and the chemicals are given 0.01 normal kcl solution 0.1 normal acetic acid solution and 0.1 normal chloroacetic acid solution so this three solutions you have to prepare yourself all solutions are made up to 100 ml now the procedure procedure part e determination of sale constant and initially you have to standardize conductometer as per guidelines measure the conductance of point not one normal kcl solution and find out sale constant and the specific conductance part b is determination of relative strength of acetic acid and chloroacetic acid first point is prepare the series of standard solutions 0.02 0.04 0.06 0.08 and 0.1 normal solutions of acetic acid and same we prepare solutions of monochloroacetic acid from 0.1 normal standard solutions now you have all five five solutions five solutions of acetic acid and five solutions of a chloroacetic acid measure the conductance of all solutions and find out specific conductance grand conductance degree of dissociation and dissociation constant third point is from calculation you have to find out relative strength of acetic acid and chloroacetic acid here same experiment you have performed in msc1 only acetic acid now you have to perform chloroacetic acid and find out the relative strength of both the acids here is the observation table serial number 1 2 3 4 5 concentration of acid is 0.02 0.04 0.06 0.08 and 0.10 then volume of acid here either 50 ml 25 ml then conductance which is obtained on the machine you can note down here just put first solution note down conductance then second third fourth and fifth and so on next from this you have to calculate specific conductance as you know all the formulas to calculate specific conductance second conductance degree of dissociation dissociation constant so conductance then calculate specific conductance then equivalent conductance then the degree of dissociation alpha is equal to lambda v divided by lambda infinity and last column is dissociation constant ka is equal to c alpha square divided by 1 minus alpha this table is for acetic acid same table is prepared for chloro acetic acid just find out conductance and note down the conductance and calculate all the parameters from this you have k and the k for acetic acid and k for the chloroacetic acid now calculations are given here cell constant is equal to specific conductance of 0.1 normal kcl divided by observed conductance of 0.1 normal kcl find out cell constant and it will be less than 1 not cell constant is always less equal to 1 or less than 1 but it cannot be much greater as 2 3 and so on then relative strength is equal to square root of ka means the dissociation constant of a chloroacetic acid which is obtained here and divided by the dissociation constant of a acetic acid obtained here and note down the result 
relative strength of acetic acid and chloroacetic acid c here is the protocol of the experiment and now the photo of a experiment which is written in the journal you have to perform experiment by same way but don't copy readings from this protocol so aim is again same you have to find out the strength of acetic acid and the chloroacetic acid in previous year the students have performed the third acid also trichloroacetic acid so aim is here which includes trichloroacetic acid but in, in this year we have to perform experiment only for acetic acid and the chloroacetic acid chemicals obviously acetic acid monochloroacetic acid and trichloroacetic acid now you can remove trichloroacetic acid next you can note down the theory that means what is mean by alpha dissociation constant the laws related to the conductometry so you can note down as you wish the theory which is related to your experiment then here is the procedure which i already told you so this way you can write your experiment then here is the solution preparation which is important so firstly you have to prepare 0.1 normal acetic acid molecular formula is given cspcoh molecular weight is 60 gram now volume is equal to mass upon density mass is 60 but uh, density of the acetic acid is 1.04 so the volume comes 57.69 ml now we have to prepare only 0.1 normal 100 ml solution for that purpose use the formula x is equal to 60 into 100 into 0.1 divided by 1000 instead of 60 for correct answer or accuracy you can use 57.69 so that answer will come 0.57 0.57 ml of acetic acid diluted to 100 ml distilled water 0.57 is a calculated value but you have to take 0.6 ml of acetic acid diluted to 100 ml then next one is a 0.05 normal acetic acid 0.025 normal acetic acid 0.125 normal acetic acid this is a preparation of a series of solutions so just by using the equation n1 u1 equal to n2 u2 you can dilute the 0.1 normal acetic acid then the preparation of 0.1 mol uh, 0.1 normal monochloroacetic acid the molecular weight of monochloroacetic acid is 94.5 g same way you can calculate as one normal 1000 ml monochloroacetic acid preparation requires 94.5 g then 0.1 normal 100 ml monochloroacetic preparation needs how much grams suppose this is x gram so x is equal to 0.1 into 100 into 94.5 divided by 1000 so answer comes 0.945 g dissolve this much grams in 100 ml distilled water so solution of 0.1 normal monochloroacetic acid is prepared from this solution 0.1 normal you can prepare a series of standard solutions then now we have our solutions then last solution for the determination of cell cost required is 0.01 normal kcl its molecular weight is 74.56 so one normal 1000 ml kcl requires 74.56 g of kcl powder so 0.01 normal 1000 100 ml kcl is equal to x g so x is equal to 0.01 into 100 into 74.56 divided by 1000 therefore x is equal to 0.076 g so dissolve 0.076 g of kcl in 100 ml distilled water so our solution is prepared now solutions are prepared just put 0.01 normal solution of kcl to the 
instrument did not take a beaker and put a solution around 25 ml and then find out its conductance the conductance comes nearly equal to 1.46 into 10 to minus 3 moles then find out specific conductance which is noted in the book is 1.41 into 10 to minus 3 moles at 20 5 degrees celsius and the cell constant is equal to the specific conductance of kcl solution and divided by our observed conductance so value comes nearly equal to one per centimeter then observation table as i have already told this is first observation table is for acetic acid and second observation table is for chloro acetic acid so point to normal solution and from this point to normal solution you can prepare the lower concentration solutions note down conductance of each solution find out specific conductance sigma conductance degree of dissociation and dissociation constant so here are the formulas to calculate the specific conductance specific conductance is equal to cell constant into observed conductance then calculation of equivalent conductance lambda v is equal to 1000 into this specific conductance divided by concentration and determination of a degree of dissociation includes lambda v divided by lambda zero so the values are given for acetic acid lambda zero is equal to 390 and now calculation of a dissociation constant k a k is equal to alpha square c divided by 1 minus alpha so put values of alpha which is calculated already into concentration divided by 1 minus alpha you can get the 5 values of k a or the dissociation constant take a mean of these all values so you can get the dissociation constant k for acetic acid and is nearly equal to 2.4 into tetris virus 5 same way you have to perform experiment for monochloroacetic acid initially you have 0.1 normal stock solution prepare this solutions from 0.1 normal and then measure of the conductance find specific conductance equivalent conductance and the degree of dissociation and from this the dissociation constant and uh, you have five dissociation constant take mean of all this you can get the dissociation constant of a monochloroacetic acid and find out the relative strength of this acids k chloroacetic acid divided by k acetic acid and by putting the values which are obtained for the experiment 1.115 into 10 to minus 3 divided by 2.395 into 10 to minus 3 so relative strength of acetic monochloroacetic acid to the acetic acid is equal to 0 0.6823 so this is our result in result you can note down description for acetic acid and for monochloroacetic acid first result is degree of dissociation note down your values for acetic acid and monochloroacetic acid dissociation constant case can be written here and last one is a relative